Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and today we are going to talk about structuralism. Before this video, I have done new criticism and uh, feminism and other topics there. Not feminism yet, but yeah, I have prepared that. So there are six chapters I have already cleared in literary criticism and uh, theory. And actually this is just introduction, alright? Some people are asking me that, okay, mm, uh, this is... Enough not, nothing is enough. I am preparing the, uh, you know, the full lessons on, uh, you know, criticism. This is all the notebook here, this side. So I'm preparing the, you know, the long lessons on this, but this is just structuralism, uh, you know, the basic things about structuralism and other topics. So we must make our mind clear about all these things so that we can understand all the theory related to the isms or the criticism. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about uh, in this topic, what we are going to talk about. Today, we are going to talk about, you know, sign, signified, signifier, and uh, what is referent, synchrony, diachrony, paradigm, and uh, syntagm. We will be talking about Lang and Parole and so on. So when we talk about structuralism, it means we are talking about structures. So what kind of structures we are talking about? The t structures... Uh, you know, available in a text because we are talking about new criticism. New criticism is, you know, it is, uh, you know, concerned about uh, text. So what kind of structures we can find there in a text? So we talk about oppositions and tensions and contrast or equivalence. So these are the, you know, structures we usually study and we can talk about, you know, before before in criticism we used to study you know social background cultural background political background historical background that time but now modern is we are focusing on structures now in the structures we usually find you know sign and uh, we we talk about sign all right we will not go in depth in this topic but we will talk about sign what is sign according to this man Ferdinand de Sosa, okay, course in general ling linguistic in 1915, he got his uh, book, book published and since then we call him father of modern linguistics because he talks about modern linguistics. So we call him father. Let's go ahead and let's talk about first sign. What is sign according to these people? Sign is, uh, you know, combination of two things, signified and signifier. So in sign we have two things you can clearly see here. Signifier is a sound or word and signified is the thing it signifies. Just cheez ko ye batata hai. And then the third thing comes, uh, you know, in the scenario and uh, that is referent. So what is referent? Referent is the actual thing. Like I have made here cat. So cat is, you know, actual cat is uh, referent here. Now let's go through here. He talks about the arbitrary relationship between these two. These two. It means whatever we write here that can uh, you know represent something else so here we have uh, a thing and uh, let me explain this thing so here we have the actual tiger but if I put here I write here tiger it means this tiger okay the actual tiger but if I put this tiger here and if I to talk about this thing in a flag it can be a flag of a nation and it can represent a nation Hopefully you got it. Now, that's why he talks about arbitrary relationship. And what is arbitrary relationship? Arbitrary relationship means changing relationship. It is not fixed somewhere. Got it. So now let's go here. And what do we have here? Lang and Perol. So Lang and Perol both are set of rules. And Lang is set of rules which community used. And Perol is, you know, individual person used the set of rules. New criticism is, you know, uh, first used by John Crow Ransom. This guy used this term new criticism first. Now let's come to the this place. So here we have paradigm and uh, syntagm. What is paradigmic relationship? Actually, we have some words which can fit in this way. Like dog cat man in a sentence. Like the cat jumps, the dog jumps and the man jumps. It means dog cat man has paradigmic relationships in this sentence. But if I will put here table jumps so i think it doesn't work it doesn't get fit here so it doesn't have paradigmic relationship hopefully it is clear now syntagm means it is uh, you know comes from syntax so if if uh, it is ha it has grammatical relationship with the other words so we call it syntagm 
hopefully it is clear to everyone here is synchrony and diachrony what is synchrony synchrony is a study these both are a study of language so synchrony is a study of a language at a point of time like here we have these point uh, this is timeline and we are studying language at this point of time all right and his diachrony is historical linguistics or sometimes we call it study you know the history of language like we study the relationship of language or development of language sorry we can say development of language from chaucer to modern so this is called diachrony historical linguistics we study the whole language and its development so hopefully all the terms are clear and uh, structuralism so we we are going to talk a lot about you know the literary criticism on this channel so if you love this thing just subscribe channel share with others and keep on visiting channel for new stuff thank you for watching bye bye take care see you in next video